Hello, hello. Here I am again, by God's grace. Amen. Today I brought you a word of encouragement. It's on Romans 8. If you have your Bibles, please open with me. Romans 8, verse 1. And it says this, Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. Skip to verse 5. Those who live accordingly to the flesh have their minds set on what the flesh desires, but those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their minds set on what the Spirit desires, which makes sense, right? Skip to, to verse 7. The mind govern, governed by the flesh is hostile to God. Mm, very interesting. Um, verse 8 says, those who are in the realm of the flesh cannot please God. Verse 14, for those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. Wow, wow, wow. This was insane. I was reading it to that and I said, wow, it makes sense, right? I was talking to a friend the other day and she said, you know, um, Oh, but I did this in my past, and every every time I, I go through something, a hardship, a turmoil, something difficult in my life, I remember that I did that, I displeased God, and, and I wasn't walking with the Lord. And she's all, all full of excuses, and I said, right then, the Holy Spirit brought me this verse. And I told her, there's no condemnation on those who are in Christ Jesus. If you ought to go through your life, excusing yourself about your past what was the purpose of jesus dying on the cross when jesus died on the cross he took away all your all your sins all your wrongdoings all your everything you've done in your past i don't know what you've done in your past but i've been through uh difficulty in my past and i've been through a lot of stuff that i regret i guess all of us done something in our past i wasn't walking with the lord i didn't know the lord and every time I think about those memories, I, I don't like it. It, it, it hurts me. It, it hurts my God. I know it does. But one thing I know that Jesus came and died on the cross to wipe away all those memories, all the sin, everything I've done before, before knowing my Christ, before accepting him. And once you repent and accept the blood of Christ, there's no condemnation for you. Everything you've done in your past is forgiven. It's in the word. So we're the word has our back. It's like a contract. The, the, the cross and the word of God is our contract. It defends us. It's my defense. Jesus is my defender. So if it's, it's the word says there's no condemnation on those who are in Christ Jesus, I am in Christ Jesus. So there's no condemnation for me as long as I repent and accept the blood of Christ over my life. Amen also says here those who live accordingly to the flesh and have their mindset on what the flesh desires um, uh, 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 but those who live in accordance with the spirit have their mindset on what the spirit desires so if your mind is set on one of the earthly things of the what your flesh desires it says here those who are in realm of the flesh cannot please God you need to set your mind on the things above so it can be in peace, so it can be have good thoughts, and you can please God. And also says, for those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. So when we accept Christ, when, it's, when, it, when we accept Christ Jesus as our Lord and Savior, your mind has to change, it has to be set on the things above, things that please God, things that are pure and admirable. You cannot live according to your flesh, you cannot give space and room for the old man and the new man. Uh, the, the word says those who are in Christ, they're a new creation, they're a new man. It's a new person coming in. When you accept the Lord, it's a new creation, it's a new man. There's no room for the old man and the new man to live. One of them has to leave. So set your minds on the things above. Please God. You cannot please the world and please God. You need to choose one. Read the word. The word will give you guidance. It's the, the word is your, it's your, it's your daily guide for life. 
read the words, seek God's face, and it's, there would no, there'll be no doubt about which way to go because God will give you, will direct your path. It's going to be a light for your feet. It will direct your path to which way, which way you have to go. Amen. Pray with me. Father God, we thank you because there's no condemnation those who are in Christ. Whatever we did in the past, where it's a brand new day today, we repent before you, Lord. We repent about our sins and we accept your, your holy blood to cleanse us from our, from our sins. We accept you today, Lord, and we ask you, direct our path, direct our minds for what, for what things above, direct our minds, our thoughts, our lives, and direct us for the things that pleases you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Have a great and blessed day. Be strong in the Lord. Bye-bye.